Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel Juliet Kitchen, Yasmin here. I am sharing with you this beautiful one pan salmon recipe. It's amazing. This has in it beautiful carrots, nice bright uh, broccoli wrap, which has a slight uh, bitterness to it, which I love. And then it has tomatoes that create a little bit of a sauce uh, for the fish. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be kind, be generous. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And if you love the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And be sure to click that bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. This is a pound and a half piece of salmon. I do have the skin on. You always want to make sure there's no scales on it. Your fishmonger could take care of that for you. And then you want to check for bones. This one has no uh, fine bones in it. If it does, you would want to remove that. Um, so this is about a pound and a half. I'm actually going to cut it in four even pieces. I bore. I have to take out a measuring tape. All right, so I have my four pieces of fish here. I'm going to get rid of my dirt board. I simply want to season this with uh, salt and fresh ground black pepper. It doesn't require anything more than that. Uh, and I'm just going to sprinkle. And uh, you never want to season it more than uh, 10, 15 minutes ahead of time with the salt. I keep the skin on this because I usually like to uh, remove it if it cooperates with me and use it really as a garnish. You guys know how I like to use ghee. I use ghee in this recipe because it gives a lot of extra flavor. Okay, I'm going to use right here. I'm going to use about two tablespoons of ghee in this recipe. You could certainly use avocado oil or you could use a mixture of ghee and uh, extra virgin olive oil. I turn on my stove here. I usually like to add the fat to the cold pan or the room temperature pan if you will, uh, because if you try to add it when the pan is hot, you really don't know how hot it is and you may, um, your oil or your fat might be too hot, if that makes sense. What I'm looking for is to see a little bit of a uh, ripple on the bottom of the pan. One of the other ways that I could tell that the oil is heating up uh, properly, it starts to kind of separate in the middle of the pan. And I'm going to cook the salmon skin side down because I want the skin to um, become a bit crispy. And as a matter of fact, I'll remove the skin, hopefully it cooperates with me today, and use it more as a garnish. I'm going to use my heat at medium. I'm going to carefully get my salmon in. Hear that? Hear that sizzle? I love to use this large pan because it allows me to have enough room to work with the salmon. If you have too tight of a pan when you're ready to flip the salmon, it's very difficult to do that. Remember, you just want it to cook and the skin to get a little bit crispy. Okay, so it's that time to take a look. And if you can see my pan isn't smoking and hopefully I'm lucky enough to be able to clip these. Okay, there we go, see that? Right here, do you see that? There you go, see that? It came out really nice. There you go. See how nicely that came out? Look at that. Look at that beautiful crispy skin. Okay, so if you notice, I don't want to cook the second side because I'm going to finish cooking that um, as I cook the rest of the ingredients. But how beautiful is that? Okay, so the um, fat that remains in the pan, this is a bit too much for me, so I am going to remove and keep maybe about one tablespoon perhaps. That's good enough, look at that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is add in my shallots. This is one shallot. Now I could turn the stove on to medium. 
I'm just going to let this uh, cook for a few minutes. Okay, I'm going to now add in my carrots. This is about the four to five carrots, uh, medium size is perfect. And I'm going to add in my uh, rosemary. So the two sprigs, I add them in whole. I'm going to add in my garlic. That's about five to six cloves of garlic smash. Season with a pinch of salt, pinch of fresh ground black pepper. That's amazing! So the next thing I want to do is add in my broccoli rag and any of the uh, water that settled in there. My pinch of salt. Another pinch of fresh ground black pepper and I'm actually going to cover this. I want the bro broccoli wrap to wilt. Just a minute or two. See, it starts to wilt. Wow, it smells amazing! And then now I want to add in my uh, tomatoes that have been half. That's about a pint and a half. And I'm going to add salt and fresh ground black pepper. Wow, it looks beautiful, beautiful. So I'm going to cover this and I want the tomatoes to wilt and the broccoli wrap are also going to tenderize. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is carefully remove my skin. Because I want it to retain that crispiness. There you go. You want to be careful so as to not to break the fish. To use a knife, but I use my fingers. I always wash my hands thoroughly. There you go. Crispy skin. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at this because it's been cooking for about three minutes or so. Look at that beautiful bright green of the uh, broccoli rab. The tomatoes are wilting beautifully. Wow. I'm actually going to taste it for salt. It's perfect. The carrots are tender, but still al dente, so are the stalks of the broccoli rab. And then what I really want to do is add back the salmon. So I've removed the skin because the whole point of getting these crispies, you want to eat that crispy skin. Uh, so I'm going to use the crispy skin as a garnish. If you put the, put the salmon back with the skin in here, it's actually going to uh, not be crispy. Okay, I added that back in. And then I just want to pour some of this sauce on here. And I'm going to cover this and cook it for, about, for another two minutes and the fish should, should be cooked through nicely. Okay, beautiful people, this should be just about ready. Look at that. Amazing. And I have my uh, lemon here. I'm just going to squeeze it onto the fish. Okay, that should look beautiful, yeah? Sort of like uh, medium done, medium to medium well done. Wow, I can't wait to taste this. What's really beautiful about this dish, the tomato just uh, wilts enough to create a bit of a sauce. Okay, beautiful people, it's the moment of truth, time to taste. Actually, I taste all the time while I'm cooking, so wow. The fish came out nice and moist, comes apart easily. Mm. The salt and pepper on it was perfect. Carrots are al dente, but still uh, has a soft, uh, softer side to it, if you will. These tomatoes were really sweet. 
if you do come across tart tomato, you could put a pinch of uh, sugar um, in the recipe. The broccoli wrap is perfectly cooked. It's not as bitter as you would think. It just works perfectly, seeping up all the beautiful juices from the tomato and uh, the, the fish steak flavor, etc. Can you hear that? That is the crispy skin. It's amazing. So beautiful people, I do hope you'll take the time to try this recipe and enjoy it as much as we do around here. Until next time, happy cooking! Mmm.